My husband, every, every morning or every night if he was working graveyard, he would always wake us up and give us a kiss and tell us he loved us. And one day, I said, babe, why do you gotta wake me up every single morning and give me a kiss? Like, I'm tired. It's, it's 4.30 in the morning. And he looked at me and he said, because I never know if I'm gonna come home. From that moment, I never questioned it again or got upset if he woke me up or if he woke up Angela. You don't realize the little things, how important they are. And my husband made that a priority every single day because he wanted us to remember that. And that morning, he did exactly that. He gave me a kiss. He gave Michaela a kiss and he said he loved us. He went to Angie's room, he gave her a kiss and said that he loved her and he left. But he didn't come home. Today we're in our state's capital in Sacramento paying tribute and honoring our fallen officers throughout the state of California from 2018 through 2021. It's the best thing that I can do to show my respect for the family, our industry, and to our, our department to be up here. It means everything to me right now. It's a terrible tragedy for the department, but the fact that we can be here to honor not only their sacrifice, but that of so many others, is truly uh, an honor and a privilege to, to be here. Even though this is a sad event, I can't be sad in it. I appreciate it and I, I appreciate the honor of him and the man that he was, but I just want to, I remember him, the life that he led. Although my husband's not physically there with us, he's there and he's living through us and through our kids. I try to do my best to be strong for them because it is very difficult. Talking about giving the ultimate sacrifice, this is the actual display of what that really means. And I don't think it's impactful to most people until you actually see how it affects the families that are left behind. It allows all of us to renew our commitment and also lets the public know what their true sacrifice really is. He was a deputy, but he was also a man of God. He saw people with compassion. He was just the love of my life. To just be included in this crowd, to honor the memories of victims and to see the support that surrounds statewide with law enforcement. It's hard to put into words. I feel like you're in the presence of individuals who are just in a different realm because of what they've experienced. It brings it back home of how much it is and how much of an honor it is just to stand next to them, to be here, to have a part of what they're going through and to look forward to always being able to honor their memories. Today is just a solemn remembrance of all those in law enforcement and their families that give so much. Just as that one song, if I would have known you weren't coming back, I would have did more. And today is our day that we respect them and we make sure that we send their loved ones with honors for everyone to see. And I want to make sure that our department always, in this case, honors both of them and make sure their kids throughout the years know how wonderful their dads are. So, to the law enforcement family, I would say, always tell those that mean a lot to you, that you love them. Because like my husband said, you never know if you're gonna make it.